Hello everyone, Matt the Cat here, and welcome back to Undertale. When we last left off, we fought Metaton's final form, and we left Altheus behind because she told us we have to kill Asgore. And in this episode, we're going to march straight into the castle and fight the big man himself. And along the way, we're going to be listening to some backstory. And, well, I'm just going to be quiet throughout the rest of the entire story. So, because this is very dark. So, let's pause for a moment of silence. And as soon as we... As soon as the music starts to kick in, then I'm going to officially stop talking. Kind of creepy.
my goodness, that. Oh man, that. Such a sad backstory, man. I. I thought it would be fitting for me to keep my mouth shut the entire time because that was so emotional. More emotional than Super Paper Mario's story. Here we are in the hallway. I am so glad I'm not doing genocide, Ro. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will, you will be judged for every experience you've earned. What's the XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's cap capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the least you will get hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you... You never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you run away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make any sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. So... If I kill Asgore, bad ending. But if he kills me, bad ending as well. Either way, I get a bad ending. Okay, I, I know that's not how the game works, but... I mean, would you believe me if I told you that I played this game back in high school and I managed to beat every boss first try but him? As far as I know, he might be the hardest boss I've ever faced in this game. It's a coffin. Yoshi, no! Oh. Yep, considering that there's coffins, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna beat them on the first try, but I have a strategy. I spent so much money on healing items. I'm going heavy on healing items and Hopefully I might have a better chance at beating him one go, but I would not make any promises. Let's do this. Here we go. Dum -de -dum. Oh, is someone there? 
just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Ah, he looks adorable. Howdy, how can I help? Oh. He's not as threatening as he sounds. I so gladly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> no thanks, I don't even like it. But, you know how it is. This is getting awkward. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Maybe we should just have a friendly conversation and then you can let us out? You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Well, no turning back now. Let's do this. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. <laughs> Oh boy, I would not want to see him hold a drill. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Oh, I am ready. I'm just nervous. Oh my gosh, the sound is like Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue. I see. This is it then. Ready? Yep, but I'm not. Well, I'm gonna be in one of those tubes. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Yep, he destroyed the mercy button. You have to fight him, no matter what. This is the only fight where you actually have to hurt him. And as much as I don't like doing that in Undertale, it really pains me, but unfortunately, we have to fight him. We can't even act. Sure, it'll probably do something, but for the most part, if you keep acting so many times, they'll say, at this point, looks like it's not gonna do that much. And I'm pretty nervous. Cause this guy has so many attacks and I almost got hit again. This guy does not play around. I always get caught off guard by that move. the fire. Dodge the fire. Ow. Okay. I do have a few strategies for how to beat this guy, but I'm not sure if that's enough to one hit KO him. Ow. Okay. Doing some good damage. Oh, this is gonna kill me. Ah, dang it. Well, I promised myself I wasn't going to do this. You cannot give up just yet. Yoshi, stay determined. Well, never finished him first try before, never will. Well, I will be right back and see where I left off. Whew. Okay, no 
at least I know how to do that one. Oh no, not this one! No! Asgore, please don't do this to me! Ow! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I need a heal. my strategy to eat the thing. I have to upgrade as much attack as possible, because I don't want to die by him. Ow! Okay. Made a mistake there. That's fine. Okay. He dodged the fire, dodged the fire. Okay, 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 okay. It's doing some weird things. That did not go so well. I can't do this. Oh, please. Oh, no. Power through it. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You move so fast. This guy does not hold back, and it terrifies me. Oh, Lord. I'm just a young boy. You wouldn't want to kill me, would you? Actually, yeah, you would. You don't even like humans. Uh, no. No, please. I really don't like doing this to you, but I bet you don't want to do this to me. We don't have to end it like this. Just stop. We have to stop this now. We have to stop this fight now. We need to stop now! Stop the fight! Thank you. It's over. Uh, yeah, I'm tired as well. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters roll the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She loved this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Do I really have to do it? Either way, the ge- I would get a bad ending. I think I would rather start a new life here. After everything I've done to hurt you. Yeah, quite a lot. You would rather stay here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room telling stories, eating buttered scotch pie. We could be like, like a family. We can be friends! No, my new best friend! Who would have done this? Ah!
have my soul. You. You know, you're the idiot. You killed my new best friend. How dare you? You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> no! Ah. Ow. Where am I? Hello? Uh, huh. The save file must be corrupted. Oh well, I'll just load it back up. What? Why isn't it working? Ah, worthless piece of technology! I don't know how to get out of this place, but I'm afraid that's all the time that I got for this episode. Next time on Undertale, we are going to be reloading our save file. As soon as I figure out how to get out of this void, that is all the time that I got for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you in the next video. Meow meow. Are you sure you saw a door over here? What? You were the one who said you saw a door over here. Well, I know it was one of us. Shut up and keep looking. Uh, who are you?